Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here we are with another video for you guys today. And today we have a very interesting concept, discussion we're going to have with you guys. And that is, are the stories that are included in the LEGO modular buildings, are they overrated? <laughs> But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any of the videos on the channel, please... Like, comment, and subscribe. And let's find out if we think that the stories included in these LEGO modular buildings have been overrated by LEGO fans out there after the intro coming in. No. stories included in the lego modular buildings are they overrated and you know i'm gonna cut to the chase and say yes i didn't even know they they're highly that. overrated within the lego community i've seen so many people talk about how much they love this modular building or that modular building and they talk about the story um that is included in it and, and and I'm not knocking Lego for including the stories. I mean, that's, that's fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's cool. I got no problem with that. But it got me thinking, and I went back and oh. looked at a few things here. And I believe it was the detective's office was the first one to include a quote-unquote story. Now, obviously, this has... The story has something to do with the detective. I built the thing. <laughs> it's got a detective in it. I don't know. I didn't even <laughs> know there was a story. To um, but I mean, the the stories have never really mattered much to me. Um, and then I went back and, and, and thought about some of the other ones. Now, obviously, the story in the brick bank comes to mind because it's got the little money laundering thing in the in the laundromat. Yeah, that's that's cool. You know, again, I got no problem with that. Um, but when I talk about my favorite modular buildings, um, the little stories are like a small afterthought for me. To me, it's all about the build and how the you know the building looks when it's completed. Um, you know, or what the building is like. Your city needs a bank, you know, so it's nice to have a bank. Um, but you know, whatever story is involved in it is is very secondary for me and then and i know people talk about the story in the police station a lot which we don't have the police station um so i can't talk about what even story is in it um but i hear a lot of chatter about the story and and i'm like but i mean it doesn't really matter all that much and and then here's a couple um What's the story in this one? Dude proposing to his girlfriend? I mean, the I mean the Parisian restaurant. I couldn't tell Does you. Have a story? I couldn't tell you what story's going on in this one. And you know, we got the thing. <laughs> but again, I hear other you know people talking about how great these stories are that are included in the Lego mods are building. I never even heard of. And them. I'm like, huh? And then last but not least, the Jazz Club. As I said, I've just built this thing. Does this one have a story too? It probably does, <laughs> but I couldn't tell you what it is. Well, where do you, where do people get all these stories then? Do well, sometimes in up? the directions, they get these little paragraphs and stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. I, <laughs> I ain't gonna, I'm not reading that. I'm on to the next page. I got, I got building to do. <laughs> so... Um, if someone could tell me down in the comments what the what the story is on the jazz club, I'd be interested to know. Now, I like this modular building a lot. As I said, you know, I've recently built it. We have a review coming out. Um, but, you know, I liked it for the building itself. Like the story, I'm just kind of like, eh. 
So you guys tell me down in the comments, what, are, am I wrong in to say that all this talk about the Lego modular building stories is completely overrated within the Lego community? Like, I didn't I mean, even know they were here. I mean, I, I, it's fine that they're included. I got no problem with that. It's actually nice. But, but I, I'm not going to say I like this building better than that building because the story. Base my opinion on it, right? <laughs> like, who cares about the story? And I would even argue that the story actually takes away from the creativity. Um, that right, they've already they've already made the story for you, mm -hmm. so you don't have to come up with a cool story. Yeah, you know, like me when I when I when I look at the bank, I don't think of the laundry. No, my nurse goes in there and cashes her paycheck. You know, mm -hmm. I built the story. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so yeah, don't tell me what the story is. I don't want someone stealing my stuff and laundering my money. I don't like that. <laughs> I go in there to cash my paycheck. Rick Pick says, story. You don't, you don't know it either? I know. And, and Jacques says, yeah, story. What? <laughs> See, nobody, you know, for all this chatter I hear about the story. Who are you listening to? <laughs> because I don't know. I like, I barely ever heard anything about stories. Who are you listening to? Richard Cranian says, I'm with you, Brick Picks. What story? LOL. <laughs> I guess I'm not as big of a Lego fan as I thought. No, that's not true. I'm a huge Lego fan. I have no idea. <laughs> I've just heard some other content creators when they compare modulars. They that, compare them by the story. That's one thing that they say. I like this one better because of the story. And I'm like, yeah, but what was the what about the build itself? <laughs> that's funny. Breakup Pick says, not being a collector of modulars, I wasn't even aware of this. I am a collector of modulars and I have no clue. And Richard Cram says, LOL, what's the book what's the bookstore where they keep all the stories? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even include that one because again, what's the bookstore story? I don't know. Like, see, I like making my own stories. Well, you know, honestly, um, I very rarely keep the minifigures that come with a modular building in the modulars. Um, I will completely just Change customize it, and you know, because that's that's part of the fun of it, right? For me. I mean, they're just as I've said a million times, they're just. They're just yellow minifigures for my city. They're not, they're not really all that important. Now, if a guy's like a pizza man and you know he's got on a pizza outfit, then yeah, I'm gonna keep him with the pizza store, you know, or the pizza restaurant. Oh. But if it's just a dude in a green shirt, you know, just random green yellow dude, guy. like, yeah, like I mean, I tend to just throw them into our bin and our, our you know, and do whatever I want with them. You know, if I want his head, he'll go on a different head or, you know, Jacques says same here, but it makes for discussion. Yeah, <laughs> That's why I was, you know, I thought that this was an interesting like topic uh, to, to get into. Like who knows all these stories, man? Brick and Pick says thinking about it. I suppose every IP has a story. I, I, you know, and that's, you know, admittedly already written. Yeah. And that's probably what's played a role into why they do that is because, you know, like you just built the the Black Lake set, like you know what the story is that's going on. There. Right, it's a, that one's got a built-in story, right? Yeah. Like Rivendale, this one's got a built-in story. Yeah. So that's uh, probably why they did it, because everything else has a story. But so that's what um. I just felt. That's and that's the biggest thing that is lacking if you're talking about we're, we're talking about Lego City or the modular buildings or anything for like modern day towns um, is that the story aspect is going to be quite a bit stepped down compared to even like castle of pirates. Cause you know, I, I, we can talk about the factions and what's going on and, you know, and like, you know, like my blue coat governors over there. Like, I mean, it, it's, even though they don't necessarily include a story for it, um, it opens up the creativity in your mind to make up your own. That's so strong. Whereas, you know, people singing at the jazz club, it doesn't really cause as the same type of feeling. Well, what did you do with that? I kicked the jazz band out and it's I no put longer a, a jazz club and I put in a rock band in mine. <laughs> jazz, and, and then, uh, up in the, there's the, the studio, um, the dressing room in the top floor. Um, I, the, the singer of the jazz club, because I kind of like the outfit that she came in. 
she, she kind of she reminds me of you, Brick of Picks, in all honesty. Um, she, she's got a nice dress. Uh, she's got the same kind of hair that Brick of Picks uh, likes. And um, I made her the singer of the mariachi band, and they're going on next. Uh huh. They're up in the jazz, or they're up in the um, dressing room getting ready. Uh -huh. But the actual jazz band itself, you know, because we already had we already had a few little mariachi band dudes. Uh, and then it came with the, the double bass. So, you know, I gave that for somebody in the mariachi band to play. And, you know, and I just, that's, um, if I was more into uh, jazz, no, if I was more into doing stop motions, like uh, I had a fun stop motion idea, like bat all the bands, you could throw in the Muppets band, <laughs> little mariachi band comes on, <laughs> get the rock band, like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.